No, no big bites. No, no big bites. Okay, watch this. See? Witness that I actually eat shit sometimes. Coach Greg, and I just wanted to show you something real quick so that you can see how easy it is to save on calories. Ben and Jerry's. This tub is two cups, two cups. It has 1,200 calories, 1,200. I could probably eat 10 of these. I probably could. That would be 12,000 calories. 12,000 calories, I could probably do it. So all these 10,000 calorie eating challenges, it's not impressive if you eat something like this. Compare it to my protein ice cream. That's 1.75 liters. That is over three times as big as this. Over three times as big. You don't think this is ice cream? Are you doubting that this is ice cream? Are you doubting me? Do you, do you doubt it? That's thick frickin' ice cream with three frickin' C's. It's thick. And it's friggin' delicious. Is it as delicious as this? No. Nope. No, it's not. It's probably only 80% as good. 450 frickin' calories is in this. 50 grams of protein is in this. 20 grams of protein. 50 grams of protein. 450 calories. 1,200 calories. What does that mean? It means that if I had two of these, I would have way less calories than one of these. Two of these would be three and a half liters. That would be a challenge to eat. Three of these would be over five liters. I probably couldn't have five of these. I could probably have 10 of these. Five of these would have maybe 2,200 calories, maybe not even 2,500 calories. Five. I challenge you to eat five of these in a day. Try it. I challenge you to have five protein ice creams in a day. That's gonna be enough to lose weight for most people. You can have five of these all day. I would be absolutely mind-blowing, shredded to the bone, anorexic if I only had five of these a day. I just burned off over a thousand calories in my bike ride. That means if I have two of these, I'll still be in a deficit. I could not, impossible for me to just eat this and gain weight. I can't do it. Impossible to do it. Almost impossible for me to not gain weight because I would eat this whole thing and not be full at all. What is in this? Good question. It's got two scoops of protein. It's got a little bit of xanthan gum. A quarter of a teaspoon, not much. Do we need it? No, it would still work without it. It's got some frozen yogurt, a little bit. It's got some strawberries. Let's get a little bit of chocolate pudding powder in it. About 30 calories worth. Did I need it? No. I could have put Walden Farms. And it's got a bit of PB2. It's a beast shake because I just burnt off over a thousand calories. I could eat this, but why should I? I'm not going to. Guess who's going to eat that? Gertie? Baby Nakey? Well, Baby Nakey might. No. It's going to be Ali Doug Lover Smith. Big. Hey. I've discovered this in the freezer behind the frozen strawberries. Hey, why do you have my ice cream? Because I discovered it upon making this and I wanted to make a comparison, a quick little video to show the difference. If you're trying to hide ice cream from me, it should be in the deep freeze underneath all the stuff. That is not a very good place to hide this stuff. So 
this is not good. I asked her, do you want some of this? No. Why not? This is so good. Babe, this is good enough. Is it not good enough? Have you had some? I don't like the way you even talk when you're eating this. It sounds like a foamy mess. Yes. Oh, she doesn't like it when I talk. She does not like it when I talk when I eat. No, just when you eat that. Because it's foamy. Like it's foamy. Oh, it's in your back of your mouth. Now, I want to taste that and I'm going to compare it. Oh, man. I'll give you a good bite. No, no big bites. No. no big bites. Okay, watch this. See? Witness that I actually eat shit sometimes. Delicious. It's good. It's good. It's got a cookie taste okay. to it. Uh, now watch chocolate? this. Come here. No. I eat her ice cream shit and she won't eat mine. I'll have a little bite with a normal utensil called a spoon. That's th that's smaller than the bite I took. A too foamy. Listen, that is good though. <laughs> it's strawberry. Is it like 80% as good as that? It's pretty good. It's not like, anyways. Like I'm not BSing, like I'm not gonna tell you something that's not. It's 80% as good, it's not as good. If that tasted as good as that and it had this many calories, then you may as well say I just broke the laws of thermodynamics. You may as well get me a freaking Pulitzer Prize, Nobel Prize. Give me every prize on the planet. If this was as good as that, but it's 80%, it's almost as good. I should get a prize. This one has fudge brownie and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough, though. I mean, I love chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> exactly. That's my favorite ice cream, but I don't buy that stuff now. But I like it a lot. I do. Oh, wait, I gotta give you one more bite. I, I mean, it yet. is, it, I mean. <sighs> Just wait for one second. This is enough. It's enough. It's like. Okay, try this. Oh, you're going to like it. Taste that cookie dough in there, the chunks. It's good. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like this. Say you're an average looking guy. You know, you're a five on 10. That's average, it's five on 10, right? Say you're a four on 10, three on 10, two on 10, one on 10. How I define like the Richter scale of good lookingness. If you're a five, it means that half the world is better looking and half is less good looking for your age, say. So if you're a two, eight out of 10 people look better than you. If you're an eight, Two out of 10 would look better at your age because you can't really compare a 44 year old like me with a 14 year old or 84 year old, it's not fair. So if you're a nine, then if you have 10 people in a room, there's probably only one better looking than you. If you had 100 people in a room, probably 10 are better looking than you. If you're a 9.9, .9, then out of 100 people are only one better looking than you. Out of 1,000, only 10. If you're a 9.99, it keeps getting better. That's right, babe. See, the better you go, you go up to 9.99, you get to alley level. There's even higher levels than her, though. There's 9.9999. There's V Shred. You know V Shred. I don't know V Shred. He's pretty good looking, right? Is he better looking than that football player guy? What's that guy's name? G something. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. There we go. See? You just gotta like. Jimmy G it. <laughs> is he better looking than Chris Bumstead? Well, I mean, Chris is my favorite. So. What about when he has a beard? Not my favorite. Not a favorite. So you can be influenced by what you wear, your, how you dress, your shaving or not shaving, and so on. Anyway, getting back to the point. If you're a two on 10, three, four, five on 10, six, seven on 10, even above average, seven on 10, not bad. This is an eight on 10 good lookingness, tastingnessness. That is a 10. It's as good as he could get taste wise. If you're a five on 10 and you date a girl who's an eight on 10, you've just gone up three notches. Are you gonna be disappointed with the level of hotness of your girlfriend?
If you're a five, you're dating an eight. That's pretty freaking good. This is pretty freaking good. You're happy with the eight. That's a 10. Yeah, you want the 10. You do, you want to date Chris Bumstead. Not everyone can date Chris Bumstead. Not everyone can date Jimmy G. Not everyone can date V Shred. We let's examine the women's side. Vivi Winkler. Do you know that girl, babe? Vivi Winkler. No. I've done two videos on her, which haven't been posted yet. Or maybe they have. I don't know when this gets posted. She's that girl that rubs all this stuff on her bum. Rubs stuff on her abs. She's got the huge quads. She's got an implant. She's half ripped all the time. Yeah. Okay. She's like a V shred. She's like a 10. It's as high as you can get. She's got everything you can get to make her look that way. Unless you're a guy that don't like muscle, and then you're not going to like it, obviously. But most people that are into this, they may be like, you're high up. So yeah, you'd like to date the 10, but you don't need to. She's the freaking, she's the, what was that ice cream called? The Ben and Jerry? She's the Ben and Jerry's. This is the protein shake is the eight. It's good a freaking not for most people. Most people, if you drink and eat this, you're going to be happy and satisfied. You don't need better. Once in a while, you might cheat on the eight with the 10, but you might be cheating on the eight with the five. Who knows? Once in a while, you might get real lucky and have this and that at the same time like I did tonight. I had a couple of tastes, a couple of licky licks of the Ben and Jerry's, but mostly I'm having this. And some of the bites are better here than others. Sometimes there's a really good bite that didn't mix up quite, and it's awesome. It is. So the bottom line here is you don't need to have always 10 on 10 tasting foods to be satisfied. I'd rather have the 8 on 10 every freaking night than the 10 on 10 once a week and feel guilty about cheating on my 8. See what I did there? I didn't even plan this. I made it up on the spot. I don't plan. I just talk. Babe, am I good at this or what? Pretty good. I'm pretty good. And she doesn't compliment me much. And just so you know, it's been like 14 minutes I've recorded this video. This was made five minutes before the video. It's almost 20 minutes into it. It's still ice cream. And I added, oh, I added almond milk to it. Hey. Almond milk, a little bit, not much. And it makes it so good. I didn't put any ice because I wanted it super thick and more yummy, creamy. She's almost done the 1,200 calories. Almost done the 1,200 calories. She Let's was, see. She was a 10 though. Oh, well, it's not almost. It's only been over half. So she's <laughs> only had like six or 700 calories. I've almost had half of mine. So I've almost had... 225 calories well she's had only 600 and something she's had three times more calories than me i've eaten more than her she's like Ugh. she has to stop herself i get to continue it of course it's worth having the 10 on 10 if you don't care if you're 37 percent body fat like oh. ali it's worth it. Lucky she's 9.99 .9 on 10. But if you're a six and you want to be an eight, <laughs> drink the eight. Do it. Use your brain. If you want to look better, if you want to improve yourself, you want to be leaner, then choose the lower calorie dense food. All this stuff is in my freaking cookbook. This isn't the only freaking recipe. And you don't need it to be this big. Most of you can't finish this. There's smaller ones. You could add half. Half of this, 200, 225 calories. That's enough. You're going to be full on that. Most people, that's all you need. It doesn't need to be this all the time. You don't need to eat this five times a day. You can eat your other foods. There's no problem with that. You could even have pizza at some point. But then you have this later. Where you start with this and finish with the pizza. So instead of eating the 16 inch pizza, you have this first, 400 calorie, 450 calorie, whatever. 
then you only have room for the other half of the pizza. So instead of eating 4,000 calories of pizza cheat meal, oh my goodness, you have this, and then you have the 2,000 calories of pizza cheat meal. And it's like, well, it was a bad cheat meal. It wasn't so bad. It could have been worse. My cookbook does this for you. This is the secret to being lean. Delicious, so good. Not a 10 on 10, no. No, my wraps are not gonna taste as good as the most smothered in mayonnaise filled, oh my God, full of all the fat, oh yeah. My protein brownies are not gonna taste as good as this the regular brownie, the highest fat, high, yeah. No, it can't. I can't make a 200 calorie brownie that tastes as good as a 600 calorie brownie. No, Nakey. Girl Nakey, stop playing with my light. No, girl, Nikki. I can't make it 600 calories taste as good as 200. But I got it 80%, 80 freaking percent, 8 on 10. 8, eight on 10. Babe, we're moving out soon. It doesn't matter. 8 on 10, it's good. I should get a freaking prize. Not a Pulitzer or a Nobel Prize. I should get some kind of prize. Some kind of prize, I should get it. It took a long time to make these recipes. So much time, 20 years experimenting. A lot of people have tried them. It's changing lives. I am not kidding and I'm not making this up. It literally is. Buy the cookbook, learn the recipes, incorporate it in your diet. If you can't hire me for coaching, I know not everyone's rich. I know not everyone's a millionaire. Not everyone can afford for me to set up your entire diet plan. But most people can afford a hundred bucks for a freaking cookbook that changed your life. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. Don't forget to buy the freaking cookbook. Like this video. And until next time, I am out.